can see you are ready to go out. Sure. Very correct. You are ready to go out without preparing my breakfast. And the kids. Who is going to prepare them for school? Paul. Why are you so troublesome? I mean, why are you so bent of precipitating problems? Huh? Like you want me to go into the kitchen to prepare food for you and your children? Knowing fully well that I'm fully dressed like this with my bone straight nails. I should go in and prepare food for Are you that heartless? Hello? Is Juliet my kid sister not there? Excuse me? Hey! Did you just say that? I've warned you countless times to stop referring Juliet to your duties. How many times do you want me to say that to you before you understand it? How many times? Will you stop this nonsense? Will you? Please, Paul, please. I do not have time for your problems. As you can see, I'm already late. Okay? Excuse me, Mr. Man. You don't walk out on me. Sandra! Sandra, come back here! Bible reading this morning be from the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17 Are we there? Yes Therefore if any man be in Christ he is a new creature all things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Amen. Amen. You know, all this passage is trying to tell us is we as humans 
any human that accepts Jesus into his life, you accept God into your life, you automatically become a new creature. That does not mean that they will create you again. No. Just like you, if you used to lie to mommy, maybe you did something and if mommy asks you, you will deny it. You're lying. If you accept Jesus into your life, knowing that all this thing I've been doing is not good, lying to mommy is not good, God will forgive you and all those things will be wiped away. You become a new creature. And also you, my darling, in school, <coughs> your teacher might be teaching others and you'll be busy playing. Now when you're caught in the act, you will bluntly uh, deny it. I did not, too. I, Auntie, I did not. She was lying. And you know the Bible says that all liars must do what? Go to hell. Would you want to go to hell? No. What about you, Jeanette? So if you accept Jesus, knowing that God is your father, your creator, and all that. Receiving him in your life, saying goodbye to all those lies and other things, because I know it's only like that. It's a sin that you people are committing right now. You say goodbye to lies. God will make you to be a new creature. Do you understand? Junior, do you understand me? So you don't lie. All right? I will not take much of our time because we all have so many other things to do. We'll be going to school and I'll be going to work. Like what's not me. So go and call on me, let's round up and pray as family. Alright, hurry up. Will you get out from here? Didn't you see I'm on call? Get out! Don't have respect. Get out! I'm sorry, sorry, it's my daughter. I have all seen just a start. this woman several times not to keep in late night but she wouldn't listen she wouldn't just listen I'm so sorry. Did I, did I hear you cry? Did you say a meeting? Yes, club meeting. Club meeting? How many times have I warned you to stay away from that evil club? Huh? How many times? Look at the time. This is 9.45. Is it the time a responsible woman is supposed to go back to her husband's house? Is it? 
wait, 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 wait. Wait, excuse me. Are you in any way calling me bad and irresponsible woman? No, that is what it is. That is what it is. <sighs> Come on. God. <laughs> Look at you, I keep complaining. And each time I complain about you coming back late night, you will hook up a lot of stories to tell me from either from one club meeting to another. This is, aren't you tired? Are you not tired? Now listen, it is high time I pulled you out from that evil gathering. Yes. Never. Never! Not now that I've assumed a prestigious position as a secretary general of the club. You cannot do that. It's not possible. Now, woman, now listen, listen, Claire. You have just two options here. Two options. It's either that prestigious position of your God for second secretary general or your family. You must choose one. And I'm telling you, it's not possible. You cannot stop me. I'm a moving train, don't you get it? Excuse me. Make sure you don't come back by this time, next time. What are you even saying? Look, I cannot have Juliet as big as Juliet in this house. She cannot do anything in this house. She's supposed to run the home whenever I'm not around. Don't come here and start blabbing and ranting as usual. Shh. Shut up, Trying to create trouble and confusion. Nonsense. Who they sir? Want to bring down the whole house? Do it now. Angela, baby. Jesus. Angela, baby. Ha. Hi, Naga. Aga. Where did? Angela, I'm a poo. Hey, baby. I'm a mokwanaga. I respect you. Oh yeah, what? Angie, baby. This is see you. Yeah. How are you doing? I'm fine. So how was the trip to Lagos? Mm. Yeah, it was fabulous. Just uh, I suffered a lot of traffic jams. Oh, that has been how Lagos is. When I travel back then to Lagos, I still suffer traffic jams. It's, it's been nice. like that. Yeah, it's been like that. It's really, really stressful. I understand. <laughs> what are you doing now? I'm fine. I'm doing well. What you about your kids? They are fine. I'm your husband. Ah, uh -uh. just me. <laughs> <laughs> I just came to see you today. It's been long. And I'm happy to see you, baby. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> hey. Hey. Mm. You know, what's happening? What's wrong with your shop? Everywhere is dried. I mean, it's so flat. Yeah. Okay, name is flat. Scattered. You don't even have a says girl or a says boy. Mm -hmm. This is really the problem. My dear, the, I talked to my husband about it, but he's not saying anything. What do you mean he's not saying anything about it? <laughs> Get money from your husband and refill this place. Refurbish it. Make it a shopping mall. Eh? Come up a little bit. <laughs> Man, this is not okay for you. My huh? dear, my husband managed to give me one million naira. And before he gave me that money, we quarreled over it. <laughs> like it wasn't easy for him to release that one million naira to give to me. So right now, <laughs> he's not ready to give me any money. Sandy babe, your husband is rich. <sighs> At least we should get up to 5 million naira from him to republish this place. <laughs> I have a plan of how you're going to get money from your husband. Really? Yes. How, how, how are you going to do it? I'm going to plan your kidnap. Yes. They will tell him to pay 5 million naira. If he doesn't, you will be dead. Me? Dead? They will kill you now. That's no, no, the plan. No, 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 I don't want that kind of kill. They will, mean they will kill me. No, they won't kill you. Are ah. you sure? It's a plan to get money from him. <laughs> hey! <laughs> You're a criminal. Ah! You can never change. <laughs> it's not possible. Angela! No. Angela! <laughs> My sister, you know these men. That's how I deal with my that my foolish husband. That's how I get money from him now. Mm -hmm. You know these men. If you don't deal with them, you will get your rights. Mm -hmm. I've been teaching you this. <laughs> That's a perfect plan. 
<laughs> as a matter of fact, eh, mm. you, know that, you, know, you know what's going to happen? What? I'll go home and talk to my husband okay. for safety. Okay. You know, talk up to, to talk to him about it. Mm -hmm. If you do not give me five million naira, trust me, we shall strike. Exactly. But hmm? only we are getting that money. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Of course, money. You're going to give me two million. Uh -uh. I will like you two million naira. You want to kill me? Five million naira. I will not give you two million naira. I got ah, the plan. You now. know what it means for someone to give two million naira this period? Ha. Ah, Angela, no, no, no. That was She's that, that don't say it. that. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, 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 wait. I'll give her hundred thousand. Yes. Ah. You right. want me to continue with? All the right. Stop talking. Mwa. Mezi round figure. One million. One million. One million. Yeah. One million. <laughs> One million. <laughs> One million. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sure, sure, sure. I don't yeah. like you. <laughs> about food stuffs. Yeah. You said you needed to buy more food stuffs, right? Okay. Okay. <coughs> so I go to the market, buy all the things you, you want. Uh, you also talked about your school clearance. Yes, sir. How much is it? Thirty thousand. Thank you. And um, this is for your transportation. Thank you, sir. You're um, brother, your food is ready. I was actually waiting for you here. Oh, the food. Mm -hmm. uh, the food can wait. I'm not hungry now. Right. Yes, sir. See you in the evening. Bye. Handsome, rich, decent, and humble. <laughs> Yet my sister is here misbehaving. Oh God. I pray Obi now will always love me the way Brother Paul loves my sister. I wonder why Chinedu refused to let me be. Not minding that I've told him that I have a boyfriend, yet he keeps disturbing me. Hmm. Besides, he has a dirty character. My dear, I even heard he came back from the with nothing. Hmm. Upon all the money his sister's husband spent on him just for him to go to Bodoibo, yet he came back with nothing. That guy is a complete effulet. Exactly. Mm -hmm. She is as useless as anything one can imagine. Fear. Yeah. I've never seen a young man like like Chinedu. I've never seen. He's a man with no future. <laughs> exactly. My sister, his family is very, very good and well mannered. But I keep wondering where, where this guy got his dirty and stupid attitude from. Please, please, please. Let's let's forget about Chinedu's matter and talk about something else. <laughs> something important, please. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, I appreciate it. So 
you have been gossiping with my name in this village, Abby. Mm -hmm. I will show you. <laughs> of Igwe's cabinet. <laughs> hey! That teenager that came back from Obodo Ibo, empty-handed, that useless boy, that a left. Come, let's go and see his father. Come! Eh? Get him a day fast! Good day. Look at my daughter. Look at what your son did to my daughter. Eh? Uh, please, look at you. What is it? What I did nothing to him. It's just that he asked me for a relationship. And I refused. On my way from the stream, he slapped me and poured my water. Only me that I'm gossiping with his name in the whole village. <laughs> Uh, Nketi, I am very sorry. I am very, very sorry. You see, Chinedu is a problem. Chinedu is a problem to me in this village. Eh? Every day people keep coming here to complain one thing or the other. Eh? I am very sorry, Nketi. I am very, very sorry. You know? Yourself. Want him for me. has been carrying my name around the whole village, telling people that I'm the black sheep, a flav. Papa, mana abu me flav. Am I an a flav? Chinedu, what is your problem? Eh? Chinedu, what is your problem? Eh? Why are you going around this village causing problems for me? Eh, Chinedu? Chinedu, are you the only person in this village? Eh? Is it by fault that she must be your girlfriend? Chinedu, is it because you asked her to be your girlfriend and she refused? Eh? You started beating her. So, she came here with her mother to feed your heart with lies. And you believe them? Anyway, I know that you hurt me very much. You know that he hates you very much. Eh? Look at the way you are even talking to your father. No sign of respect, no single respect at all. Look at the way you're talking to your father. And you know we have visitors here. The people you beat up, they are here. We are talking to your father like this. Chinedu, I'm tired of you. I don't even know what to say to you again. Cha! You are complaining imagine. that somebody is calling you a flef. What are you? Uh, are you not a flef? Imagine. Can you hear me? Imagine. But you shut up. Don't, don't say anything to me. Chinedu, stay clear from my daughter. I don't want to see you close to my daughter again. 
You won't. It's okay, 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 it's okay, okay, okay. You go and buy drugs, oh? Mama, I know that you will support Papa, and you will support them too. But I don't care. I want you to carry your miserable mother and leave they this compound. They're not coming that late, Chinetu. You dare not try that rubbish. Okay, I'm coming. Shall I make a move? Chinetu, you won't. Then why not if you won't, Chinetu? If I don't know you won't, I'm going to slap you in this compound now. I know, Mama. Okay, okay. 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 Okay
After all, Paul did not marry my sister to turn her into a man. Okay, no, no, eh? Are you surprised? Are you surprised to hear the way this fool speaks? Eh? Are you surprised? I've told you that Tinedu is a fool. Your young sister came back here to complain to us. Eh? That her elder sister is not treating the husband very, very well. That she's not taking care of her matrimonial home. Eh? Instead of you to talk like a responsible man, you're talking back to her. Look at If you leave. Is that girl we are even talking about? Is she a, is she a baby? Do, 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 doesn't she have sense? Can't she think properly? Eh? Then this is the, the, the kind of man that every other young girl out there is praying to get as a husband. No, I want to that she wants to shatter her family by herself. Oh. Who does that? Who taught her that? One day she will regret whatever she's doing. This problem that you are bringing into this house, Don't shut up if you don't know what to say. Eh? Look at look at the way he talks. Eh? You are, you are here supporting your sister because no one killy killy gone and you know your problem. You know your problem, Eh? Your problem is the influence of a Kai Kai and Ibo. Eh? Oh, your problem, Kai Kai and Ibo. Think, stop Ibo and Kai Kai so that you can think like a responsible man, Chinedu. Yeah. Papa, you should take Ibo and Kai Kai out of this. Then am think, I the only think one that like, think like a responsible man? Think, think like Ibo. a responsible man. Am I the only one that drinks? Eh, so you can find your drink. I don't mind her. My daughter. Papa, Eyes open now. Oh my God. If you finish washing that clock, come and watch this on Ubo. Get it ready. Okay? Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. When are we expecting him to come? I think come and see us now. Papa, on your own side. Oh, they will be a wolf. On your own, you will not. You mana, his kai kai has reduced, so he needs more. You know we are now kai kai. Okay, Papa. Hey. But right now, he's handling a project. Once he's done, he will come and see you. Baby. As usual. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. So you came to my house unannounced. I hope all is well. <laughs> all is well, my sister. As you can see. Sandra, I came unannounced because of what I saw yesterday. What did you see? Yesterday, I met your husband at the market, prizing vegetables. <sighs> ne. I felt ashamed. Well, I let her help him buy the vegetables. Oh, really? Oh, that's so lovely. Thank you so much. Hi, we just go back. Oh, come, come to think of it, what is wrong with a man helping a woman to buy food stocks? Is it the first to do it? Huh? Or you just want to come and blame me this morning, Sandra? Sandra, as a friend, and a good friend at that, I shall keep telling you the truth. I have seen your husband a couple of times, buying obey and the wah at the market. Sandra, these activities are for women folk, you know. Uh, please, I am not saying that a man should not help his wife and buy things or his family. But let it be seldom. Let it be seldom. <laughs> when you're eating the food, is uh, they don't remember that cooking food is, is, is a very difficult task. They will just be eating it every day. They don't know what it takes. That is his course. You should carry it. It's my husband's course. Okay? That shouldn't bother you at all. Sandra, Sandra, do you know, I don't allow my husband to buy things for me. Mm -hmm. I don't do that. Mm. These are the things you need to amend in order to win your husband all to yourself. I know why I'm saying this. I know why I'm telling you this, Sandra. Mm. Please. Commissioner for Information. Ah! 
I'm not going to never change you. Wait, you mean you left your shop? All the customers that, 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 that are hovering around your shop, you left them to come and tell me to change. This is very funny. Sandra, I'll punch you. <laughs> oh my god! Let me go. What will I offer you, my friend? Let's go in and eat, please. Take something. Give to my heart. Give to see Sandra. Sandra. I don't want anything. All I want is for you to change. Oh. I want you to change. I want you to be a good woman. Hey, please. Please, for me. Please come and go, eh? Come attend to your customer. Hey, let me go, please. Hey. I left my shop for myself, girl. Hey, man. Commissioner for. Uh, information. is fine. They are all fine. Why should you be the one to open the gate for me? Where is Okoro? Okoro is there. Okoro! Okoro! Ah! I've been for this boy. Where are you? I've been looking since. Even the tax man is outside. Mama, what have you been doing? Ah, you're welcome. Small madam, you're welcome. Where are you? Eh? The taxi guy has been running since and you did not come to open the gate. What have you been doing? Ah, hmm. Madam, hmm? small madam, so you don't even know what is happening. What is happening? Bad people is everywhere. Mwaga said if anybody is running there, he or she should stay outside. Eh. Yes. If you are not, you stay outside because of security reasons. Security reasons. See, I'll pay the taxi guy. Go and get my bag there. Let's go inside. Um.
don't know what we can do. Our time now is 6 o'clock. We are not ready to take our parts. We are not ready to go to school. We are not ready to impart the change your story. Our mother was... I'm not changing any style. <laughs> I'm not changing any style. I think you guys are hungry, right? Yes. You're hungry. Yes. Baby. Baby, touch your mom. Mom. Please bring my food. In fact, serve us our food. Okay, honey. Juju! Juju! Juliet! Sister! Come, 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 come. Sister, come. Serve him food, okay? Okay. Juliet, come back here. Sir? I don't understand. What's the matter about it? I asked you to serve me my food, and all you could do is to call Juliet to come and serve me my food. I, I don't get. But, darling, Juliet is a member of this family. Are you trying to say if I happen to travel that Juliet cannot serve you? Juliet is not my wife. But Juliet is a member of this family, like I said. What is wrong with you? Now tell me what is wrong with you. This is what you always do. Each time I ask you to serve me my food, is it that you will refer me to Juliet or you will give me a flimsy excuse? What is wrong with you? I regret every bit of marrying you, I swear to God. And I regret every bit, I mean every single bit of marrying you too. What is your problem? I mean what concerns the issue of marriage and food? Or you just want to rant? I don't get it. You want to bring down this house. They keep causing confusion in this house. Confusion. The day is coming when you regret all this nonsense you're doing. Just one day. Mark my words. I will not regret anything. I will not! Don't start an address from you. What's your problem? Oh, sister, this is unfair. Hey, sister, how could you ask me to save your husband's food? You've been doing this all the time. Sister, you've been declining your duty as a wife and as a mother. It's unfair, sister. I don't like it. Are you talking to me? Are you? How dare you? Sister, you slapped me. Yes, because you've lost your sense of decorum. Now listen to me. There's one thing I cannot tolerate. And not from you. With anything that concerns my family, do not in any way put your stupid mouth on it. <sighs> Foolish girl. Idiot. Mom. Why did you do that? Why did you slap Auntie Juliet? Because she has lost her sense of moral decorum. But Auntie Juliet was right. You are supposed to give Daddy his food. Now Daddy is hungry. Not just that, but angry at you. I'm sorry. Please forgive my sister. Please. Come on, Julia. Please just stand up. Brother, she does not know what she's doing. Please. You know your wife very well. That's not how she used to be before. Piccolo. Please, sir. Please. Julia. Stand up. Come on, stand up. Sir. Listen. You don't have any reason to kneel down for me. Okay? It's okay.
Papa. I said, give me my money too. Papa. Tell him, give me my money. Eh, uh, fat. Uh, Should I do? Should I do? Should I do? Where's uh, my money? Where's the money I kept under my pillow? Because I know you are the only person who will go there and take that money. Papa, you should leave me alone. Did you see me when I took the money? Why are you disturbing me this morning? Listen, Chedu. Stop this, your pretentious countenance. Where is my money? Chedu, give me back my money. Papa, I don't know what you're saying. I didn't see any money. Chedu, come here. Oh, you're working out on me. You are working out on me, Chedu. Give me back my money, Chinedu. Papa, I said that I did not see your money. How can you get one minute a week on your phone now? What is it? Eh? What is it, man? I've been hearing your voice from that to back at the kitchen. He took my money. Eh? He took my money. How he went to my room and took my money. How much is the money? Five thousand naira. Five thousand naira. Yes. Is it not the money I picked on the floor this morning? Oh. Have you seen it? Ifugia. Papa said that he was very sure that I'm the one that took the, took the money. Happen in Maka now. Happen in Maka. Okay, mature no. Happen in Maka now. He has yeah. supported you. It is because you are a very questionable character. That is why your father will even go to a thief. Your character is very bad. You have come with character again. What put in a gas to crack up on your? If we get to our money, that's a level of money. I don't understand. Now, if you should have asked me before attacking him, now you should have asked. You should have waited for me. But why did you tell me? You should have waited. Why did you tell me? Why should I wait for you before your man? Why did you tell me? I, 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 sure you are. I sure you are not keeping the money for him. Where is Jimmy? I don't know his whereabouts, Ojemba. All he does is moving around with these useless boys in this village. Why should Chinedu engross himself with such dirty character? I guess someone is uh, responsible for this, just to tarnish the reputable image of this family. Ojemba, I don't agree with you. No, I don't agree with you. Eh? I have consulted a GD man and he told me that Chinedu is not in any man's grip. Yes. Then where is this, this character here coming from? I don't know. I don't really know. May the gods deliver him. That is my prayers that the gods will deliver him one day. Hey, one of my brother. Mm -hmm. I came to inform you that uh, my in-laws are coming for introduction next two weeks Saturday. <laughs> yeah. ah. Yes. Ojemba. Ah. Yeah. No problem. No wonder I see the radiance in the face. <laughs> <laughs> No problem over there. Yes. It's good, Jamaica. It's good. Talking about Jamaica. My daughter, my daughter, Jamaica. Okay, that's good. Yes. Ah. Is it not Gwe Ka Anemba? He allowed his gods to eat up our crops. What has been announced by Igwe Authority that every goat rearer should not allow uh, their goats out of the compound? Eh? Why would this Gwe Ka Anemba allow his uh, goats out of the compound? Eh? What kind of problem is this? I've gone to his house and nobody was there. He will pay me for my crops. His money goats ate. Or... I will report him to the Igwe. Yes! 
Yes. Yes. What is this? No. You are coming. Take it easy, yo. I'm not coming. Go on, Emma. You are coming. Eh? Oh, Chinedu. How many times will I tell you that I will not marry you? My elder brother is married to your sister. How can you be telling me this thing? And besides, I have someone else. Chioma, I really love you. Mm. Yeah? If I marry you, people will know that my family and your family love themselves. Huh? Chinedu, it does not mean anything to me. I, I just dislike your bad behavior. Don't tell me this thing next time, oh. Hmm. Chioma said. If I'm bad, I believe that you can change me for good. <laughs> that is love. I can't though. Tell for someone else, I can't do that. No, Choma, please. I've been stopping me for long. Yes, Mama. Which Chinedu? Now you have one son. And why is he disturbing me? Mama, he said he wants to marry me. One that they say never ends. He said he wants to marry you. Yes, Mama. Chinedu. That village vagabond wants to marry my daughter. If he has the best character, Chinedu will not marry you. Did you hear me? Because both of you are endless. Mama, that's what I've been telling you, but he wouldn't listen. He must listen. He must listen. On a plan. Mama. We feel me. He wouldn't listen. He must listen. No matter what, I do not wish such a person for you. Do you hear me? Yes, so you will not marry me. Today is Sunday, we're just coming back from church and all you could do is to dress up and you're going out for a friend's birthday party. Excuse me? Hello? I should sit back home and play with these kids. I'll probably give them my breast to swack. Is that what you're saying? Why is it that you always frown at my happiness? Why? Why is it that you find it difficult to play? Why is it that you, you feel bad each time I'm trying to correct you? Am I supposed to be telling you all this? Am I? Am I supposed to be telling you how to take care of your kids? Do I need to tell you that your kids need your attention? Do I? Do 
Did you look at your friend Namakato? Does she behave the way you behave? No, is the answer. She doesn't. She carries her family in a very high esteem. Of course, she respects her husband. She has affections and love for her kids. But you don't. Come on. Paul. Paul. There's one thing I cannot tolerate from you. That is you comparing me with someone else. For crying out loud, I have my life to live. And I'm Sandra. I'm not Amaka. So please do not compare me with someone else. What's all this now? Ha! Huh. Before they come back here. Go back inside. Come and stop me. Is it that you don't like to take us to school? It's only that and Auntie Julia that takes us to school. Oh, baby. Do not worry. I will take you to school some other time, okay? Mom, Junior is right. He don't always take us to school. Only then and Auntie Julia. But Mom, are you ashamed of being a mother? No. No, baby. No. Like I said, I will take you to school some other time. Stop, Mom. You ain't said it each time you tell you to take us to school. Oh, this is when my classmate told me that you're ashamed of being a mother. Mom, praise is right. They say that to you? Yes. Oh, baby. Don't mind them, huh? huh? Why would I be ashamed of you? Come on, they are jealous of you. See what then? Just go to school. Eh? Make sure you stop, okay? Yeah. Listen to whatever the teacher is teaching you, okay? How are you? Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's go, let's go. Thank you. Bye, bye, bye. -bye.
so tired today so I couldn't prepare any food. I couldn't even go to the markets. But not to worry, I'll prepare a very delicious noodles for you. You will love it. Okay? Wait, wait, um, I'm trying to understand what you say. Like you you've not microwave the food or you did not cook at all. Did I, I did not cook. I couldn't go to the market. I was so tired. But I Dropped some money with you before leaving in the morning. I know. Baby, try and understand your wife. She's so tired. That's why I couldn't cook. Hmm? Please. My wife was so tired that she couldn't cook for me. Wow. Wow. So, if not for Juliet in this house, I won't be eaten. Honey. Your wife just said she is tired. I'm promised to prepare noodles for you. I, is that hard for you to understand? Wow, wow. But you know I'm not a fan of noodles. So why do you want to patronize me with that? Huh? So without Juliet in this house, assuming Juliet is not living with us, I would have, I would have been long dead. Is that what they're trying to tell me? Because I don't get the whole story. So what are you trying to say? They have never prepared any food for you before Juliet came to stay with us. What are you trying to say? Are you not ashamed to have said what you just said now? Are you not ashamed? Huh? You should be ashamed of yourself. You unilateral thinker. Look, from now on, I'm not going to prepare any food in this house. Juliet will be the one preparing the food for you. Let's see how it goes. Because my hands are off. Did he just say? Yes. Like you just said that to me. You know, Sandra, it is now crystal clear to me that you are possessed by the most stupid and unreasonable and insensitive, useless, evil spirit. Honestly, you are possessed. It is you that is possessed by a queen so Yes, you are possessed by demons from the pit of hell. What would you do? Instead of you to feel remorse, you have the mind to talk back at me. What would you do? Do whatever you want to do. Try it. Try it. Try it. Are you out? Try it. Do not raise your hand. Try it. Tell the whole world that you're a wife beater and I'll report it to Istablo. Try it! Facebook will hear you. Try it! No, try it! Do your, do your worst. Do your worst. I thought you're a man. Try it now. Release your hand. Let me see. Try it! My taxi. Oh, you cannot do it. Are you not man enough? Try it. Say, try it. I will tell the whole world. I'll report it to all your friends. Istablo will hear you. Facebook will hear you. Try it! No, try it. Dare you?
I'm tired. I mean, we shouldn't be quarreling in the presence of our kids. They know that what we are doing is wrong. And as happily married couples, we are not supposed to be fighting in their presence. It's not good at all. You are talking as if I am the cause of all the problems in this house. The reason is you. Because you lack understanding. And that is it. I'm sorry. Hey. If I've offended you in any way, maybe I wouldn't know it's wrong, or um, I do say things that offend you, or do things that get you pissed, I am sorry. We have to fix this, please. Oh, I'm ready. 